general settings on a new color cube, uh, 8700, 8900. Um, on the display, we can find the IP address for the device. Uh, on this device, it's 192.168.15.95. Put that in a standard web browser. I like using Firefox. Uh, the first thing I want to do as an IT support person, I want to go ahead and, and click the support tab. I want to make sure that if uh, any user has an issue with this device, uh, they know who to contact uh, easily. So I just hit the edit button there and I'm going to go ahead and put myself in here and my phone number and mo most importantly I want to uh, definitely note uh, where the machine is located. Uh, this particular machine is located in the uh, copier area so as um, a client sends a print job they know where this machine is so they can go uh, collect their their uh, print job. Uh, from here I want to click the uh, properties tab Note, Xerox as a default, they enroll uh, or turn on this Smart eSolutions enrollment. We can go ahead and uh, not enroll. Uh, most of our clients are on PageBank that includes uh, supplies as part of their service plan. And so we don't really have a need to be enrolled in the uh, eSolutions. And also, every now and then, if it can't communicate with the eSolutions um, server, it can put an error code on the display that could alarm some of your users, so it's best to just kind of turn it off. Um, next, I like to go up here to the description area, and let's wait for the machine to populate that. For the device name, I've already filled this in, uh, ColorCube8900. This will be the device name that the user will see on their driver when they download the driver and install it. Also, the location I put in here will be the location they'll see on the print driver, so those are uh, two key elements to make uh, your life and your users life a lot easier. Uh, I, would, I would click apply uh, if I had apply. Note every time I make a change it's going to give me a dialog box. Even if I made no change it will give me a dialog box saying I made no change. Last thing I want to show you is date and time. Uh, the default from zero <coughs> excuse me on date and time if you note here because I've already changed it is automatic uh, Inter internet time protocol. Drawback, once again, keep it on automatic is if for some reason the device is unable to communicate with the internet, it'll leave an error code across the display that can be confusing for your users. So I normally ch like to change that to manual, confirm that my address and my time is correct. Come down here a little bit, make sure that my Time zone is correct, Eastern time zone, and then I click apply. Once again, I made no changes. And that's basic settings on a ColorCube 8700, 8900.